YT, it's your girl, and I am back to bring to you something that I received in the mail from my good friend, Mr. David Classfell, and his partner, Emily Ansel at OCC. If you guys don't have any of the OCC products, you guys really need to get down with the OCC. OCC has some of the most fabulous lip tars. Um, they have now brought out their own airbrush system. They have wonderful foundations. And they also have an awesome brush set. Um, the brush set consists of 11 brushes. Um, and so, lo and behold, to my surprise, they sent me some of their brushes. I don't have all 11 because um, a couple of them are out of stock. And so once those come in, I will have those. Um, and these are some awesome, awesome brushes. If you are vegan, all of the OCC brushes are synthetic. And these are some synthetic brushes that I have tons of synthetic brushes in my um, arsenal of brushes and you guys know I am a brush freak I buy brushes like crazy some synthetic brushes feel very scratchy and kind of pokey ishy or prickly up against the skin but these guys are super super soft they are synthetic but they feel like natural hair they came in this little package right here and they were all nice little peanuts and everything inside of the box. And so, these are all the brushes that I received from OCC. And um, if you go to their website, the kit in itself, all 11 brushes, retail for $243. Yes. Um, so, I am quickly going to run through the brushes that I did receive and give you guys an idea of what they look like and tell you how tremendously soft and beautiful these brushes are. The very first brush is number 001 and all the OCC brushes come with the obsessive compulsive label right here on the front and number 001 is their large powder brush and it looks like this and these synthetic hairs actually feel and move like a natural goat hair brush. This brush feels like mink up against your skin. I mean, it is super duper duper soft. I really love this. You can use this powder brush for blushing on your powder. Um, you can, you know, do slight contouring in your cheeks, apply some blush. Um, it's just a great all-purpose powder brush and I love the fact that it has the white handles at first you would think okay with the white handles you get makeup on your hand you know it get messy but the handles are glossy if you can see that so that makes it very easy to completely wipe away you're good to go um, OCC is completely 100% vegan. They do no animal testing, none of that. Um, so if you are into the vegan thing, this these brushes would be fantastic. Um, also, when you are going out to work with your clients and you want to reach for an OCC brush, unlike most brush companies, almost all brush companies, their brush handles are black. Well, OCC's is white, so it makes it really, really easy for you to find your OCC brushes. So, that is the big powder brush. So, that is number 001. The next brush that they have in their arsenal is they have a large shader brush. And the large shader brush looks like this. Nice, rounded head, flat just awesome for packing on color if you have a lot of lid space um, once again you have your obsessive compulsive logo right here and that is your large shader brush the next one that they sent me is the small shader brush and the small shader brush is just that it's a small shader brush for someone who has smaller area to work with and the small shader brush looks like this. 
and we will put it side by side to the large one. So there's the large and there's the small just to show you the size difference in them. So that is the small eyeshadow brush right there. So I love that. The next thing that they sent me is one of their lip pencils and um, I will list all the actual numbers of the brush because they are you can buy them singularly or you can buy the set and if I'm not mistaken right now if you go to the website um, he is having a sale on the set and I think the sale is something like maybe two hundred dollars I think um, don't quote me but I will put that actual information down below in the description box but there is the lip brush standard lip brush feels fantastic it's firm so you can definitely you know really hook your lips up with this brush so I have that one also they sent me the angled eyeliner brush and it standard eyeliner brush nice and firm for lining uh, going underneath your lash line pushing or people call these push brushes also so if you did not know that so they sent the eye, angle eyeliner brush the next thing that they sent was the concealer brush and I hardly ever use a concealer brush but this one I think I will use I mean it's, it's the standard kind of concealer brush synthetic brush but the fact that it has this nice point which allows you to like really like if you're going underneath the eye and you're placing concealer like you literally can use the tip for blending purposes and getting right up in near your tear duct area um, spot concealing certain areas if you wanted to great great brush that's what the concealer brush looks like up close and the very last brush that they sent me is like their powder slash blush brush um, and this brush reminds me so much of the MAC 109 and all of us know that the MAC 109 is a fantastic brush the downside to that brush is that brush sheds terribly well if you want something that gives you the same abilities as that MAC 109 then you would love this powder slash blush brush by OCC that's what it looks like that's it head on you could contour with this brush you can apply your foundation with this brush you can apply your blush with this brush you can do your highlighting with this brush like this brush is awesome um, with very possibly minimal at best in comparison to the 109 shedding. I am loving this brush right here. This brush is truly, truly awesome. Um, so definitely check out OCC's brush line. It is definitely worth you having them in your arsenal. And when I received the tapered blending brush and the angle blending brush, um, I will come back and show you what those look like. Um, for right now, they are out of stock because they are going like hotcakes. The tapered blending brush is like literally a cross between the MAC 224 and the MAC 226. It is like right in the middle. And the 224 for me, I have it. I don't necessarily like that brush. It's a great blending brush, but that brush is 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 not packed. It's not packed dense enough for me, so it tends to put shadow every which way but loose. Um, and the 226, they revamped that one, so it's a great uh, crease brush. But I think I'm gonna fall in love with the OCC one because it's just nice and rounded enough with a nice little itty bitty point so you can really kind of get into that out of V and then blend that crease out so loving my powder blush brush and all the brushes that I received from OCC and so I want to say to David and to Emily mwah, 
Thank you guys once again. You guys always have me smiling like from ear to ear. Whenever I see a white box, I kind of know it's OCC. So if you guys are not up on OCC, please go to www.occmakeup.com. They have fantastic prices and fantastic items. All right, guys, you enjoy the rest of your weekend. See you later. Bye.